Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another build video. So today we are in the mire, uh, just west of Valley Galleria and east of Big B's rest stop. There's, you can see the gallery right there. There's this kind of big hole uh, in the road. <laughs> and uh, I thought this would kind of be a good location for a camp that uses those new um, freeway ramp things that we got and uh so yeah that's kind of what i ended up doing i was gonna put it over there's a pretty good spot over here um near cow spots that i was thinking about as well but um i did a little kind of searching around and i thought that this place uh was actually pretty cool and it would allow, allow me to kind of do some cool uh things that i wouldn't in the other in the other spot so um yeah so let me kind of walk you around um, I'll show you the front and inside first, and then I'll take you down to the bottom. Basically, um, I set it up so that there's kind of a little wooden walkway in here, and I just use rugs for that, and it's pretty simple. Uh, the way that this is all laid out, it's on an angle, so I couldn't get it perfectly straight looking, but it, <laughs> I think it's a good enough job. Um, and a little uh, decor here, just, I just threw a car down there, just kind of add some something down in that little area. But um, the whole idea is you kind of walk across this and it's it's kind of fortified so that no one can kind of get in unless you really want them to. And um, so I have my vendor here, my vendor bot, and you can uh, purchase any of my plants and stuff that I have in there. And um, I also have that weather thing going too, um, otherwise it's kind of really funky looking in here. Um, yeah. So the idea was initially that um, you would come here and I initially had like a little seating area with like a, um, what is it? The cash register that you can, you can uh, buy from. But I ended up just going with the vendor rock because it made a little more sense. And um, the whole idea was that they, they would kind of, you'd buy a ticket to come in and like buy a room or a bed for the night, let's say, and you'd unlock the door and you'd come in. So that was kind of the idea anyway. So once you're inside, over uh, to the right here, so my tinker bench and um, ammo, ammo box. There aren't really any enemies I think that come through here, to be honest. Um, I do have some turrets up just in case, but uh, for the most part, it's pretty easy peasy living over here. There is, can you see him? There's a giant hermit crab right there. Um, he only wakes up though if you go over to him. Like it, he won't wake up and like come attack. But uh, so it's been it's been fine. All right, um, just kind of more benches over here. My brewing station, weapons workbench. And really, I just kind of tried to fill with a bunch of stuff. Um, try to section things off as best I could. And, um, you know, create little nooks and stuff where they made sense. So here, this little nook is the, you know, you can rent a bed for the night. Let's say, you can come here and get some rest. Work on your armor in the morning. Uh, work out, do some uh, work on the punching bag. You know, play some darts. You know, come over, grab some coffee, sit at the bar. <laughs> that sort of thing. It's very basic. Honestly, this whole this whole thing is it's just super basic. With the exception of this, um What? Oh, he's saying something. With this lift here, um I'll go into that in a second, but um but yeah. Little kitchen over here. Again, really super basic. Nothing too crazy. Nothing you probably haven't seen in some of my other camps before. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really I hit kind of a creative wall with <laughs> this build. I got to a certain point and then I just couldn't progress anymore. Um, I just I I get lost kind of my creative drive for a bit, and uh, so it took me a while. That's why this is taking so long to kind of come out. But, um, 
But yeah, it happens sometimes. I know like a lot of other builders kind of suffer from that once in a while too. So it's uh, it's okay if it happens to you too. It's it happens to all of us. All right. So yeah, and then over here is just kind of like a little bar area. And sit down, watch the marshes and everything going on in there. Uh, so yeah, okay, so I'll, I'll talk about this now. The the idea for this was that this was going to be kind of an all-enclosed all sort of camp. And the only way in and out was through that door over there that would be kind of locked behind whoever was kind of manning this little window. And um, so I'm like, well, how do we get like big stuff and, and stuff like that up here? So I kind of came up with this little pulley system for this uh, lift and yeah so how I kind of did that was I merged the power armor station down onto that spike trap and that allowed me to once you trigger the spike trap it goes away and so that's what I did or that's how I put these conduits up um, I just basically um, align them so that they were kind of connected uh, with the power armor station. And I also merged the power armor station, power, bleh, I can't talk, power armor station down into these concrete tires so that it looks like it is kind of weighted and it has like a lot of heft to it so that um, you could kind of theoretically lift up a bunch of stuff, if that makes sense. And then I have it kind of connected back here so the whole idea is that this is a pulley system and you kind of have to use your imagination a little bit here but the basic idea is this I'm using the turbo for, for this but it's kind of like a pulley you turn on and off here I mean, this doesn't really do anything but you know theoretically it would um, you turn it on and it starts pulling uh, the motor starts pulling up and you can lift all this stuff up and uh, you know unload it um, and this back here these are kind of anchors for the the rope so that you know if anything were to fail it would still everything would still kind of be like anchored down if that makes sense so it's kind of the idea um, you know I've seen I, I, I've seen a lot of other people try to do um, similar stuff um, I think most recently I think I saw TNG do it in one of his builds and um, I always felt that they were very, uh, I don't know, I, I needed more kind of heft to it, um, like a like a, like a a pulley system type thing. So that's kind of what I, the idea I came up with anyway. But, all right, yeah, so, and I'm loving this company T thing too, by the way. I just love it. Um, great, great vibe going on with it. This is uh, my little bedroom here. Again, not too highly decorated. Um, very basic stuff. And I'm digging the new, some of the new decor we're getting from this season as well. So you'll see a little bit, a little bit of it kind of strewn about here and there. But, uh, but yeah. All right. So it's basically up, uh, up top here. Um, you know, and I, I surrounded this whole thing in defense walls and stuff like that, as you can see, um, to kind of make sure that it was all kind of sectioned off. If you have any questions about how I did anything, just let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to kind of elaborate and um, tell you all about how I did them. Um, I did actually film some of the building, but um, there was about like three hours to go through, and it was it just became too much to be honest with you. I'm so. So I'm sorry uh, in advance for that, but it's, um, I think you can kind of get the sense of like, everything I did here, so. All right, so down here, I, yeah, so I have the uh, little elevator thing here, which I think came out really well. And uh, so what I did here, um, I basically, I lined it up as best I could with these, um, these anchors up here and I put a full-sized uh, conduit pipe all across to get the, the width right. Um, and then uh, just started placing conduits out so that I could 
don't know if that makes sense, but it's a uh, started placing conduits around it so that I could um, kind of flush out the the whole thing. Um, I'll see if I can actually put a, a quick tutorial together for that. Uh, I didn't actually film that part, but um, it took me a while to kind of get it all right and, and looking correct. So but yeah, I think I came out pretty well. And then down here I have, uh, I'll just walk you through this real quick. Um, I was going to do the bedroom and stuff down here or have this be like a guest room kind of thing, but um, I started kind of running out of budget. And so what I decided to do was just fill it with boxes of stuff and this could be like the storage. So let's say you're kind of going out and around, you're going to the Valley Galleria, you're scrounging and, and uh, scrapping a bunch of stuff. You bring it here to store it for, you know, whenever you need it. And then when you do actually need it, you got the elevator here to, uh, ele elevator, oh my God. Um, yeah, I guess you'd call it an elevator. Um, little pulley system here to kind of uh, pull it up. So that's kind of the idea. Water purifier and uh, my big windmill generator as well. Um, all I did here, you could probably see if you can actually. If you can see that card there. So I actually just sunk this down into a playing card. Um, looks like an ace of clubs. Um, and I wanted to make sure that it was kind of snug right underneath the freeway thing and it worked out pretty well it's um you know uh it's kind of it looks like it's kind of supporting the whole thing um and it makes it look like it's you know i don't think it's hitting the ground maybe it is just a, no it's not actually it works pretty good um i think it's clipping a, just it's very slightly up there too or maybe not oh yeah just a little bit so it's fine it's fine and then back here, I just have some other stuff. Uh, I ended up having to put a new generator in to help power the <laughs> the um, clear weather device. So um, I had to take a couple things out to get that to fit. But yeah. All right, so yeah, that's the build. I really hope you enjoy it and um, get some ideas for your next build. And uh, yeah, I'd really love to know what you think. These freeway overpass things were kind of interesting to work with you can't really put foundations in them and um so you kind of have to use the wall anywhere trick if you're going to do anything um so that was a little difficult and uh yeah there's other kind of quirks with them too like you can't really sink a lot of stuff down into them um they won't register but overall i thought they were kind of a cool addition and um i like this area for it too i think it, it kind of works really well and the, the idea was um for this what it, so the you know the bridge over here or the road is kind of going out and around the bend and i thought well what if there's a little off ramp that was going up to tanagra so having it be kind of like a little um i forget what it's called but you know this is the main road um and uh whatever the term is in highway speak for something to go around um, we have that here in the northwest is the 405, but, um, uh, you know, it goes around the main road. Yeah, so that's kind of the idea, like a bridge to Tanagra town. So, um, yeah, well, I hope you, like I said, I hope you dig it, and um, we'd love to know what you think. And uh, thanks to everyone who's subscribed and uh, likes, comments, and all that stuff on my video. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and um, really appreciate you watching. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll do next. I have a couple of ideas, but uh, we'll see. So until next time, I will catch you later. Have a good one.